Hey guys, we're gonna be looking into using a parametric EQ on a vocal. Now this is very important guys, especially when you're getting vocals that are being recorded, um, you know, from home studios, from booths that are not adequately uh, made for a vocal. Now this is great because you could definitely create wonders. You could, this is one of the most important tools to surgically take off stuff, you know, um, take off any any pops, any hisses, any anything like that any AC uh, you know on a lot of booths have ACs like on the roof so you hear the that low humming in you know in the background so that's that's how uh, parametric EQs are going to be useful so let's get to it so here's the vocal uh, very 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 straightforward right female um, using wide range of uh, the the frequency spectrum uh, from the 800s to the 4K, right? Bring in a stock plugin, a stock EQ, I should say, um, the seven band. That's that's always always good because you you have like as as it's named it's different the seven bands to control, right? First thing you want to do is uh, put in the high pass filter. And the reason I do this, guys, is to just any, like I mentioned earlier, just get all that hum um, out from the beginning, right? Her voice is very sweet, so I want to bring up... Um, bring up that 1k 1.5 like around there um, just kind of tone it in a little bit um, that way we, we could bring it up those breaths right that the most important thing when you're listening to a vocal you're listening to um, not only intonation but you're listening to as an engineer you're going to be listening to any any dirt going through it anything in, in, in the low frequencies that you have to take off and then when you go from there you want to bring out the breaths that which compression is going to help you in but you want to uh, make sure that that's clean you want to make sure that 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 you know the the singer is actually like singing to you and and that's how you can make it a big difference through a parametric please EQ. don't leave me i want this to last please don't leave me you've erased my lonely bringing down past. uh bringing please um taking out let me use this band right here though i know you have to go please Before. don't leave me you guys hear that and this is without any compression, guys. And keep in mind, um, the sooner you could you could get rid of the problem, the better it is. It's the same thing as using one compression for everything. You don't want to do that, you know. Um, you you want to fix it, you know. The sooner, like I mentioned, the sooner the better. So with an EQ, you want you want to you want you know fix that. So. Please don't leave me. I want this to last. Please don't leave me. You've erased my lonely past. Please don't leave me. Though I know the reason I changed it so quick is so you guys could hear the the A and B, right? It's it's muddy. You hear that that muddiness, and then it it becomes much more crystally. That that's how I think of it with female vocals, as 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 crystals, as something shining right especially for a ballad please don't leave me i want this to and if you're not sure bring it up please don't leave me like, okay that's too much and bring it down from past. there please don't leave what you can do is forget about this one you have to go please don't leave me there's something i want you to know which I wouldn't do, but just in case everybody's everybody's approach is going to be different, your approach is going to be different. But all you want to do, the the reason you're bringing these up is not just uh, just for fun, just so it could look like you know I don't know little mountains coming up, uh, but because you 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 have your x your your x axis and your y axis, right? You have your frequency range, you have your your decibels. How many, how many decibels are you adding into it? You're not just adding into the vocal, you're adding into the whole mix. So before. Please don't leave me, I want this to last. After. Please don't leave me, I want this to last. Before. Please don't leave me, I want this to last. After. 
Please don't leave me. I want this to last. So as you guys saw, guys, uh, um, this is going to be, uh, this is not only going to expand your critical listening skills, but it's actually going to help you clean everything up, right? Uh, use a parametric EQ uh, for vocals, especially when you know that it is vocals uh, recorded at a home studio or at a makeshift studio. Take care.